What's up, guys? I got a new uh, movie review for you today. Um, this one is from ADV Films. I don't even know if they're still around anymore. Um, but this movie is called Orakai the Eight-Headed Dragon. Uh, very cool cover art. I'm sure it's super blurry because my camera sucks. But anyway, this is a Japanese movie. Um, it's about a guy who um, is protected by the people in his village because he's kind of a higher up uh, part of the nobility. Um, he has an amulet. And this amulet, like, causes him, like, if he gives himself over to the amulet or if he gets, like, super pissed off or whatever, like, the amulet starts to overtake him and make him, like, super hyper-violent. Um, and when that happens one time, he accidentally kills his brother. So he's thrown out, he's exiled, and he's, but because of his stature or, like, his status, he's allowed to live to go out and to kind of, you know, try to fine-tune his skills and learn to control himself and control the amulet, um, for a normal person, they definitely would have just been killed in this scenario. So the guy's pretty lucky. Um, so he's out because I mean he is like a super trained martial artist who also has this powerful amulet. So like he could just wreck everything. Uh, so I don't know why they let him out in the first place, but they did. So he goes out into the world and tries to you know get him get his shit together. And he meets a uh, princess who's on a similar you know thing. She's she knows how to do magic and she's trying to learn to control uh, her abilities as well. Um, they end up fighting a bunch of monsters, and they learn about a plot that involves um, an invasion of the guy's uh, village. So he needs to go back, but of course he, he can't go back, you know, without good reason. And so the movie just kind of follows these monsters that are going to invade his village and whether or not he's able to, you know, make the most of his abilities and save his village. It sounds boring, I assure you it is not. This is like a uh, crazy fantasy anime come to life. It is absolutely insane. It's so wild. And this is one of the best parts about this movie to me is it is played by the actors as if this is Shakespeare. Like, there can be an armored phoenix and a crazy fire demon and the actors are totally dead serious. It's played like it's high drama, it's beautiful, it's ridiculous, and it just it really makes for an odd mixture of this ridiculous fantasy elements with these hyper, uh, you know serious performances and i think it adds a lot to the movie some people would think the performances are wooden or goofy but i think and they are they're <laughs> but the point is i think they're good and fun and add to the movie whereas some people may not um there's no blood there's no nudity uh, there's a lot of violence there's a lot of sword fights there's a lot of monster fighting the monsters look really cool it looks like some kaiju shit going down in this movie um very creative very well crafted monsters um definitely cool to look at add so much to the movie um the dvd is from adv films i have no idea um I, I don't even know if the company's around anymore i don't know if this disc is in print um a quick search didn't give me much uh help uh, before i sat down to do this review um you can choose between english and japanese uh language tracks and then there's english subtitles um i would recommend going with japanese but i do think in this case after you've seen the original soundtrack just like sample the dub because the performances are so realistic uh visually at that point but the dub is so bad that it it creates this strange dichotomy it's beautiful it adds a lot to the movie but definitely see it as it's intended first um in the original japanese soundtrack um the movie if you like wild fantasy japanese kaiju anime infused shit check it out i think it's really cool I think just the monsters and the action are worth it alone, even if you don't appreciate the B-movie camp of the performances. Um, again, I don't know if it's in print. I wouldn't pay a lot for it. Hopefully, we can get a Blu-ray at some point. I don't know why it hasn't come out yet. Anyway, that's Orakai, the eight-headed dragon. Um, if you like this review, make sure to check out my website, markfusion.com. i got hundreds of reviews there, new ones every day. You can also follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Twitch. Uh, you can see what I've got coming up. You can recommend movies if there's something you want me to see and review. And you can also just come on my Twitch channel and talk to me about movies. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I really do. And hopefully I'll see you soon.